with money in the bank coming up at the end of this month I thought I'd do this video because of money in the bank money in the bank is one of the huge pay-per-views that like caused a lot of injuries and stuff like that just like Elimination Chamber and Money in the Bank Hell in a Cell would probably be another one I don't think Hell in a Cell really exists anymore but the main thing with ref like talking about this uh, wrestling there's a lot of people that dislike wrestling for many reasons and there are a lot of legit reasons out there but the main reason why a lot of them hate it for some reason is because wrestling is fake. Now, for starters, fake is probably the most insulting word a wrestler will ever hear. And honestly, from YouTube videos, you can see how offended wrestlers get at the term fake. Um, but the thing is, like, people always talk about how it's fake and Every, the winners decided and everything's choreographed and it's all fake well here's the thing you go and you look at UFC and they, they, I think they there's a lot of times where WWE, TNA all these indie profession, promotions are compared to UFC, mixed martial arts boxing and all this other stuff because of the fact that that's real and this is fake so, here's the difference. Here is the main difference between professional wrestling and mixed martial arts slash boxing slash uh, fucking Greco-Roman wrestling. Professional wrestling, you are there. Your main goal there is to entertain. That's it. That is honestly the main goal. They tell stories, and they're there to entertain you. They are professional wrestlers are there for the fans. While UFC, mixed martial arts, boxing, you're honestly only there. Like, I mean, there probably is an underlying thing of just we're here, we can we're here to entertain them, but. You hardly ever see them talk about that. You are you only see them saying, "We're here to." Basically, they're there fighting for their lives, for their whole careers to get up. So it is very real and gritty, and just I don't really care for it too much. But it's it's there as a it's entertaining to watch for some people, but it's not built for entertainment. Professional wrestling's number one thing is entertainment. While these guys are thinking, let's have these guys fight, and then the people in the mat in the matches are thinking, okay, I want to win this match. What's the best way I can win this match? Over here in professional wrestling, the main thing on their mind is how can I make this match memorable? How can I make these fans go? wow, or go holy shit, or really just be up all night thinking about this match because of how crazy it was. How am I going to do that? How am I going to prove that I can be somebody? And now wrestling, if you look at it, there are a lot of things that happen in wrestling that obviously hurt. Like somebody falling about seven feet a couple times and that'll hurt and those are some of the bigger matches yeah um there's people that do like I mean if okay you super glue a table like they break tables and then they super glue them back together so when they fall on them they shatter again and it shatter easier here's the thing Fall through a table that's been super glued and tell me that that didn't hurt still. And you look at some of the stuff like uh, there's a Twitter post by Roman Reigns after Payback, which was awesome pay per view, by the way. Uh, you had a picture of Roman Reigns back after Payback. 
very real picture. It wasn't like he just put on makeup for this one Twitter post. No. He wouldn't put on makeup. He wouldn't put on makeup he wouldn't put makeup on his back because he wears a vest throughout the show and if they were just doing that so he'd take it off and show everybody, all the makeup would be fucking smudged. So it's not makeup. If you look at his back in this picture, he has a cut down his shoulder. He has bruises all over his back from wrestling. From putting his body on the line for the fans, for entertainment purposes. It is, it's not fake. It is, in fact, scripted. There's a huge difference between the two. Now, the other main thing that I hate when people talk about professional wrestling being fake is that why are you bitching about this being fake and yet I just heard you talking about this awesome movie you just saw. And like, a lot of the times, a lot of the action movies have a lot of fucking CGI in them. So they're way more fake than what wrestling is. I mean, the people in wrestling don't have wires. They're not jumping around like that. They use their bodies. They're fucking athletes. While over here, yes, they there are athletic actors. But a lot of the time, they are using wires. And a lot of the time, it takes a lot of takes to do what they do. And everything is completely fake with movies. But yet, no, we gotta pick on wrestling for it being fake. Even though you're more likely to get a concussion in wrestling than you are in acting. Even in action movies. Because a lot of action movies, they're really trying not to make you get a concussion. With wrestling, they are still trying to, like... We don't want anybody to get a concussion. We don't want anybody to get injured. But it's probably going to happen. Because they're doing shit to entertain the fans. That's what they're doing. And they will do that at any cost. Except their lives. But sometimes their lives. But anyway, I just thought I'd bring this up because there's always this stuff saying, Oh, wrestling's fake. Wrestling's fake. It may not be 100% real, but why the fuck does that matter? When there's so much other fake shit out there, and WWE, you can, like, they have never really claimed to be real. <laughs> they haven't. I mean, they're not going to break the fourth wall and say, oh, yeah, we're fake, but you never see anybody do that. I mean, they, yeah, they do have, they have broken the fourth wall a couple times. But they're not going to sit there and say, this is fake. Because that's insulting to wrestlers. And they're not going to say that it's scripted. Because they want you to feel like it might actually be real. That's their main goal. And sometimes they may not actually pull it off. But they're trying. <laughs> they're really trying to make it look real. And sometimes they make some stuff that looks crazy and real and awesome. And it's kick-ass. That's why I like wrestling. Because it is entertainment.